Hey, Anthony, how are you starting? Um, my regular way. It's your boy, A.O. Welcome to another edition of the A.O. Vlog. And today we're talking about how to get more money for college through dedication. Let's go. Or by, are you going to say that or are you going to say by raising your ACT? Nope. Because theirs wasn't by raising the ACT score, it was by dedication. I got my little sister Katie with me. What's up, girl? My man Justin. Bam. Hand clap. My man. There we go. I invited these two people to come on the blog because I'm very proud of these two individuals. They are doing some great stuff. And today I really wanna talk about the mindset of how you can get more money for college through your particular mindset. So because I'm a gentleman and you're a gentleman, we're gonna start with the lady first. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get you cool points, bro. Flow with me. But Katie, so what school are you going to right now? I'm at Troy University. Just graduated last year. Yes. Okay. Well, I just finished my freshman year. So yes. I'm going into sophomore year. Duh, Anthony. <laughs> so you're going into your sophomore year. Yes. All right, so how do you like college thus far? It's the absolute best. I love college. For real? For real. Better than high school? A hundred times better. Okay, real quick, one thing that you like yes. better than college than high school. Mm. It's friends 24-7. Friends 24-7. It's the best. Okay, so back to the point of today, because we're not talking about college versus high school. Um, but I want to know this one thing. Um, you actually did something very significant in your transition from high school to college. Okay, so you took your ACT score up by how many points? Three points. Three points. All right, so we're not talking about like 10. We're talking about one, two, three points. Before you took it up to three points, mm -hmm. where were you at financially with college? Yes, so I took the ACT a total of five times. Okay. And with that score that I got, I had tuition covered. I knew I could get more, so I studied one more time. I studied okay. two months for the ACT right before I took it. And I ended up bumping it up three points, and that got me everything paid for. So three points. Mm -hmm. So you took a, you took the ACT a, a total of five times. Mm -hmm. For four times, you got the same score. Same score. And you were like, I'm not satisfied. Mm -hmm. You would have had tuition paid for, but you still would have paid for a room. Books. Books. Yes, exactly. Food. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. And so you took it one more time. Mm -hmm. And you raised it by three points. three points. I keep saying three again, y'all, because I'm trying to show you something here. It wasn't this huge number, but it was you was determined. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that season of being determined. Yes. How did that look for you? How long was the determination? Was it a week? Was it one day? Was it months? What was that season for you? Yes, so about two months before the final time I could take the ACT, I just really buckled down and studied almost every day for it. And I took wow. practice tests and I got two books that I really just studied all the time. Okay. And a lot of times I had to say no to friends to Wait, hang baby, out. you had to say no? Yeah. Why? The studying, I just had to do it. And I knew that if I could just dedicate this small season, yeah. saying no right now, but I was saying yes to something bigger, which was <gasps> freedom. Freedom. <laughs> she said yes to that money too. Yes. I like that. So literally you are in school free. Free. And it really wasn't free, let's be real. You, were, you worked hard being a good child to your parents, mm -hmm. good grades, and just really focus on being the best student that you could. Exactly. And I think sometimes we, we say that's free. No, that's dedication. That's hard work. Thank give me some doubt. Give me some That's good, man. All right, brother. Three points. She got four right. Your brother, mm -hmm. talk to me. So I had taken the ACT and I got a 28 on it. And that would get me into some schools and it would get me some scholarship money. Okay. Completely satisfied. And then later on, I found out after applying to my school that I had been accepted and I had received this admissions-based scholarship that was only or indicative of GPA and ACT score. Okay. So yeah. the GPA was there, Sound and my like. ACT score was there. Yeah. So I did a little bit more research into it because I, you know, I hadn't heard about the scholarship. Okay. And I found out that I was right on the border in between, in between receiving full tuition right. and half tuition. Ah. So you know, I panicked a little bit. Why'd you panic though? Because I want full tuition, <laughs> man. You want that more? <laughs> so talk to him. So, uh, I looked at the next ACT that I was going to be able that I was going to be able to take. Okay. And I referenced it when the deadline for that scholarship was going to be. Right. It was a week away. It was a 
Friday. Friday? ACTs are on Saturday. Okay. Took the ACT and sent it in. Okay. Using the little ACT thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I got my score back. I raced at one point. One point. Got full tuition. Yeah. Full tuition. Yeah. Got that money. I do get that one. See, ladies like smart brothers. I like that. I like that boy. Yeah. Yeah. That was a smart decision that you made. Yeah. Did it cover your full ride with everything, like your room and stuff like that? No, it didn't. That was two points higher. Two? Two points higher than the one I got. So a 31 on the ACT would have given me full tuition, full room and board. And I was only able to take it that one time. And hindsight is 2020. I wish I'd been able to take it more, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. We missed it? Yeah. We missed it, huh? Yeah. We missed it by two points. So how much would you say you're paying right now a year uh, because you missed it by two points? Just a guessing. Because point. I missed it by two points, I'm paying $8,000 a year. Out of pocket. Out of pocket. You ain't paying nothing. But you paying eight grand. Yeah. Because you missed it. But you know what? You're in school. So let me ask you this question. Because you made, because you missed it by two points, and you say you only took it two times, right? Mm -hmm. Two times, five times. You're grinding in school and you're, I know you're gonna excel. Are you even like talking to your peers like, hey, don't make this decision. Start taking the ACT ASAP. Most definitely. I've been telling all my friends you know, take the ACT as much as possible yeah. your senior year. Yeah. Or even before that. Yeah, yeah, Because the ACT, like... How early can you take it? You can take it as early as seventh grade, I think. Yeah. Seventh grade? Yes. So there's no reason why you should have a low score in the ACT because you can take it as early as seventh grade mm -hmm. and build upon that and stack on it. Well, there's no reason you should take it once or twice. Why would you not do that? It's a no-brainer. I like that, I like that. I'm about to call somebody on the spot right now. Hey man, pull up a chair, brother. Pull up a chair. I want you to tell the world your name, what school you're at. I'm Dylan, and I go to Summit High School. Summit High School, rocking it. All right, so you're hearing, this is your friend, Ashley, right? That's my man. Yeah, yeah, and you met Katie, yep. okay? And so you're in high school. How many times have you taken the ACT right now? One time. All right, so how you feel after hearing your peers say, take it as many times as you should, how do you honestly feel right now? Well, I mean, I just hate taking tests, but I'm with you. I know that it is worth taking, yeah. but it's just the fact of actually getting out there and taking it, that's the, the problem, is not the actual test, but the, the drive to actually sign up for it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's some of your goals in life? Like, what do you know, what college, what you want to do in the future? Or are you still brainstorming on that? Kind of brainstorming. I want to okay. go into filmmaking. Okay. But, uh, Right now, I kind of chill, you know? Yeah, hey man, you chilling, but filmmaking is good stuff. The man behind the camera can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. So um, let's, 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 let's wrap this up. What are two or three books, or what are the books that you all use that he should be using and the rest of the world should be using to really get prepared for this test? I use the Real ICT Prep Study Guide, and okay. it's thick, but it's good. Okay, did you read all of it? No. You did? <laughs> okay. okay, okay. And what was the other one you used? And the Princeton Review Study Princeton. Guide. Princeton. That just sounds. <laughs> Princeton. What about you? So I used Barron's ACT Prep Book. Okay. And what was awesome about some of these books is that they have practice tests in the back, multiple of them. Yeah. So you can just take those out, take them review your score, see what you got. Uh -huh. And that's just a great test taking strategy for the ACT. I'm serious because like hearing y'all, yes. I mean, I should have took that test about 10 times myself mm -hmm. and I could have meant, oh, I want that money. Mm -hmm. I wish it was an ACT about life. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, it's never about the lack of your ability, it's about the lack of your determination. These young people had the ability, they chose to be determined to go after it. And because they made that decision, that one decision, <laughs> she's going to school 100% debt free, driving a car I don't want to tell you about. I'm telling you right now, when you save your family some money, you can get some things. <laughs> but look at him, tuition is paid for. And my man is solid. And he's telling you like, man, don't make the decision that he made and wait to the last minute because he was two points off from being 100% debt free. So listen, let's go get it, make that decision, Take the ACT, save yourself some money, be here next week. So I got some more stuff coming. 
love y'all. Go get this money. It's your boy, Ayo. I gotta go. Peace.